guys, it's Chris with the Dargon Gaming Squad, and today is day two of the RPG a Day um, questions. So this morning I got up and did a live video right away, and I didn't set it up right, so I was not able to um, move it to YouTube, and so I'm actually re-recording. So for those of you who saw the live one, um, yeah, this is kind of a repeat, so... Um, this is going to give me the opportunity, though, to talk about a couple things that I didn't include because I was getting ready for work and I didn't have a lot of time this morning. So um, a couple people commented on some things that actually had been um, on topic of kind of what had been going through my mind. So I will include that in my response now. So the question today is what RPG would you like to see published? So... There's so many out there, it's almost hard to to say, but I um, am really craving an RPG that will immerse me in the worlds um, of my favorite book series. So I have quite a few that I listen to, that I read and or listen to audiobooks of on a regular basis. Anytime I'm listening to them or reading them, I have that always going through my head that, gosh, this would be great as a game. So... Um, I'm going to mention those. Um, the, the top one is the Hollow series by Kim Harrison. The first book in that series is Dead Witch Walking. If you haven't checked it out and you like urban fantasy, um, it's this one has the most like backstory and history as to why we have an alternate history in present day USA. And I really, really like it. And um, it's got some great fantasy elements that are a lot of fun. And I just have always loved these stories. This series is complete now. And she started a new series that I believe is going back in time uh, a bit. But anyway, it's a really good series. Um, the other two I've mentioned, um, I know I've mentioned all of these before, on the channel. The other two that are really close behind the Hollow series and are pretty much tied with each other are the Mercy Thompson series by Patricia Briggs and the Jane Yellow Rock series by Faith Hunter. Um, and Faith Hunter also now has a spin-off series called Soulwood. So anyway, these are all, again, they're urban fantasy and they are solidly in the urban fantasy genre. There's no, you know, cyberpunk element. There's none of that. Um, you know, augmented stuff. It's all present day and and yet you have, you know, vampires and were creatures and or skinwalkers and different things running around. So I really want to see an RPG that really will put me there and allow me to play in that world. Um, I have been looking very hard at the White Wolf games. Um, actually, I was looking at them pretty hard. Lately, I've been really immersed in Deadlands. Um, so I've taken a break from that, but I do suspect that some of the White Wolf games might actually do the job. Um, I particularly think that Hunter kind of fits in with the theme of those books. Um, the only thing about uh, the White Wolf games, I've never played them. I, I haven't read the books through much, um, so I, I could be very inaccurate in this. But my impression of them is that they're very... They seem to me like they're pretty much a single subject. So, you know, if you're playing Hunter, you know, that's it. You're, you know, humans or whatever, hunting down the supernatural. If you're playing werewolf, then you're a werewolf and you're doing whatever you're doing in the werewolf world as a werewolf. And same with vampire. So I don't know that they have quite the scope um, that would be covered in the books, but I may find as I learn more about them that uh, that I may be wrong. Uh, Sam from Chelsea and Chains suggested a game, I, I think he said Apocalypse World? I don't know. Anyway, I'll look into that some more too. So it's possible that there are some games out there, but it's definitely something I've been looking for from pretty much the moment I started really playing D&D um, uh, you know, seriously. <laughs> um, in addition to that, there's a couple things, uh, projects that I'm aware of. This Subari um, setting that Marquise Hardis and Point of Inspiration have been working on. I think it's Marquise's baby, but uh, Point of Inspiration is a three-person um, endeavor, and uh, it's looking amazing, and I'm definitely looking forward to that being published. And then um, Harbinger, which I got to play at ATCON, 
which is being worked on by Absolute Tabletop. It's in the um, play test stage and um, they've been through a couple stages of the play testing and um, they're working on that. It's very cool, it's loads of fun, and there's elements of that that kind of fit in with, um, with what I'm looking for. So that is RPG a day question number two. I will um, have all the links below for all the brigade con activities and the and the um, RPG a day infographic if you'd like to check it out for yourself. If you're not a contact uh, content cr creator and you want to get in on the, on this, feel free to um, give me your responses in the comments below or hop into one of the Facebook groups if you're a part of them or join them. This is a great time to do it and uh, and fill in your responses, you know, share your responses there. And if you're a content creator, you can hop over to the links and get the information so that you can jump in and do some videos of your own on these topics. So until next time, get out and get gaming. Bye guys. <laughs>